to kickstart the press brief, I'd like to take you. Kile bolela for the food rahetzingo press conference. Rather, sorry, <laughs> not the press conference. The International Labour Conference that we attended in Geneva. Um, I think, um, as a way of background, I, I should take you back to last year, to the 106th se session of the ILC, which uh, we actually attended, and there were some key recommendations that, uh, as a country, we are asked uh, to come back and look at concerning the labor laws of the country, Botswana. And um, it's not so much a difference, or there's no much of a difference uh, if you look at what we, we have been called to come back this year, to come and uh, look at. I'm talking to the recommendations. Um, we, we attended the ILC um, from the 20th May, June, rather 28th May to 8th June uh, 2018. And, um, you know, as it is known, uh, there were various committees that were set up um, by the conference, uh, mostly to look at, uh, you know, the labor issues in general. And most importantly, like I've said, these committees addressed issues like um, the effective ILO development uh, cooperation in support of the SDGs. Um, it also looked at uh, violence and harassment against uh, women and men in the world of work. We also looked at issues around social dialogue and tripartism and the application of the ILO uh, conventions and recommendations and um, let me just take you through one by one uh, what we discussed under the effective ILO development um, cooperation uh, that I've just talked about that is in support of the SDGs um, the discussion of this item provided ILO constituents with the opportunity to pro provide guidance um, on the new medium term ILO Development Cooperation Strategy beyond 2018 and indeed to shape the ILO future, you know, going forward in terms of uh, development cooperation. Uh, on the issue of violence and harassment against women and men in the world of work, um, there is, a, you know, a, a growing concern that a number of ILO standards do address the issue to a very limited extent without actually defining you know terms like bo violence bo harassment and also you know the scope of the work rather the scope of the world of work and uh, of course the the provision and guidance on how to address um, its various manifestations um, the committee had to discuss and come up with um, an approach that um, would delineate clear rights and responsibilities as well as um, joint strategies and collaborations. Um, on the recurrent discussion on the strategic objective of social dialogue and tripartism, under the follow-up of the LO Declaration on Social Justice for a Fair Globalization uh, 2008, the discussion of the strategic objective of social dialogue and tripartism provided ILO constituents with an opportunity uh, to actually consider how the organization um, should respond more effectively you know, to, to, to realities and needs, of course, uh, of its members through uh, coordinated use of uh, all means of action. Um, there was also a summit that was held uh, the World of Work Summit, um, and uh, this was held under the theme Employment and Decent Work for Peace and Resiliency on 7 June 2018. Uh, the summit actually addressed the challenges of sustaining peace 
by providing opportunities in the world of work, especially for, for youth or young people. Um, as Botswana, we are also honored um, at the summit, uh, honored by the Africa Group to ask a question on behalf of the Africa Group. And this question was in relation to strategic partnerships uh, for peace building and the sustainable development agenda, as well as the opportunities for decent work and employment, in particular targeting the youth. Um, of course, the question was well received by the participants of the summit and uh, the panelists. Um, and I think um, of key importance was um, the Committee on Applications of Standards, where we were called upon again as a country to come and uh, you know, account uh, for some of the gaps in our laws, uh, applications uh, you know, concerning labor. As you will recall, like I've said at the start, Botswana was called upon by LO Committee on the application of conventions and recommendations on the 106th session um, to actually give information, and this is very, very important, to give information on the, on the implementation of ILO Convention number 87, which talks to um, freedom of association and protection of the right to organize. Um, I, th I think it will be very, very important to, to, to give you the progress of what we did as the tripartite since um, we, we attended the 106th session. Um, when presenting this time around, we informed uh, the committee that consultation amongst represented representatives of government and employers and workers has been ongoing since uh, July 2017. Uh, and these consultations actually resulted in the establishment of a tripartite labor law review committee, which comprises of the tripartite, uh, some from the, the labor, some from the business, and some from the, the, the government. And um, the government and social partners developed and adopted a work plan. Uh, remember, uh, we were asked to do that from the 106th uh, sitting of uh, the ILC. Um, to this end, I think I must uh, report to you that terms of reference, uh, terms of reference were developed and shared with the ILO Office of the Eastern and Southern Africa and the Director of Standards uh, in the International Labour Office uh, in, in Geneva on the 5th of March uh, 2018. And in carrying out this task, uh, there was need to to engage the tripartite constituents. And um, I must indicate that that's a process that is uh, ongoing and we, we had to, to report on that. Um, the other thing was uh, the engagement actually culminated in, a, in an agreement on the laws that should be covered by the, uh, the Labor Law Review Committee that has been informed by the, the tripartite. Um, Therefore, the framework for review of the laws has also been agreed with the social partners. We are just waiting for the commencement of work by the expert from the ILO. Remember that um, in all that we do, we're encouraged to utilize the expertise of the ILO. So we've been in constant contact with the Pretoria Office of ILO to actually um, assist us in, in that regard. And furthermore, the committee was informed that the process of reviewing the labor laws requires the engagement of the tripartite constituents, which sometimes takes a long time or takes some time. Um, it is important to point out that during the government's engagement with the representatives of employers and workers on 8th March 2018, uh, it became clear that the amendment of the Trade Dispute Act particularly with a view to reviewing the list of essential services, uh, was of critical importance to workers. Government deemed it necessary to re-look really at the list of the essential services. As such, the representatives of employers and workers were informed in a meeting on 24th May that the Trade Dispute Act and the Public Service Act will form part of the laws 
that would be reviewed. And I think I must indicate that um, in the initial you know, plan of work that we developed, we actually didn't say anything about the Trade Dispute Act and the Public Service Act. But uh, this came up uh, just before we, we went for the, for the 107th uh, session of the ILC. Um, now, talking to the Committee of Application of Standards recommendations for 2018. Um, the committee, you know, after listening to the presentation of government and of course the workers had to sit down and um, give us recommendations on the way forward. And this is what the committee uh, took note. Um, what the committee said was uh, they took note of the oral statements made by the government representative and the discussion that followed. The committee welcomed the government's agreement to broaden the scope of the labor law review. Remember I've said initially we didn't have the Trade Dispute Act and the uh, Public Service Act in the work plan, but eventually we did uh, you know, decide to, to, to include it. Um, the committee then recommended that the government should do the following take appropriate measures in the consultation with the most representative workers and employers organizations to ensure that the labor and employment legislation grants members of prison service that are not considered to be part of the police the rights guaranteed by the convention. That is uh, convention number 87. Like I've said, it's about freedom of association and protection of right to organize. Um, secondly, to amend the Trade Union and Employers Organization Act in consultation with employers and workers um, organizations to bring it in conformity with the convention, that is convention number 87, to also provide further information on the Court of Appeal ruling on the invalidity of statutory provisions. Um, next was to ensure that the registration of trade unions in law and in practice conforms with the convention. Process pending applications of the registration of trade unions, in particular in the public sector, which have met the requirements set out by the law. The committee called upon the government to address these recommendations within the time frame of the ongoing labor law review and in full consultation with the social partners, which something that is um, ongoing. The committee asked the government to continue availing itself of ILO um, technical assistance in this regard and to report progress to the committee of experts before its next meeting in uh, November 2018. Um, like I've said, the government delegation acknowledged the recommendations of the committee and confirmed as we would also do confirm now, that the government was pursuing labor law review with, the, with all the tripartite constituents. Um, and lastly, essentially, the process of reviewing law is ongoing. Like I've said, we drew up the program last year and uh, uh, we are uh, proceeding with, uh, you know, reviewing the laws. Remember, we've also um, uh, formed the Labor Law Review Committee that comprises the Tappertite. I think that is very, very important, which I think it's, 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 it's a, it was a very good start um, when we did form this uh, Labor Law Review uh, Committee. Um, I think having said that, uh, um just as my last word, to reaffirm government's commitment that um, we are going to review the labor laws and any other issues that we feel should form part of that, we are going to open up so that we do allow that process to take course. Um, I think the other important one that I need to mention here is, is about uh, the bargaining council. We're going to engage as the tripartite to ensure that we do resuscitate the 
bargaining council. I think with that, um, uh, Mr. Moderator or MC, um, let me leave it here. I thank you very much.